by us kind of swimming and pushing the person to the shore. Take care of it. But we also use this basket for somebody who might get hurt really high up on a roof. If somebody gets hurt on the roof of the school, can't get themselves down. We have to get them down. We put them in a the special basket. We use our ropes. We tie off our ropes. And we may now ask the fire department to come in and help us, and we'll hook them up to the ladder, the hook and ladder truck. And we'll be able to swing them. We'll be able to lower them all the way down to the ground. We have somebody that may be down in a valley or down in a cliff or a hole who got hurt. We'll use this to be able to carry them out of that basket, out of that hole, to be able to take care of them. So we need to be able to take care of anybody, anywhere, if they should happen to get hurt. We carry portable lights in all different shapes and sizes so we can see. We talked about inside math and science. There are times that if we have to go into the woods or if we have to build a bridge to get in, or if there's something that should happen to collapse, a small little deck, a small little room, we have to be able to save the person that's inside, but also protect us. We'll take a lot of our wood and build a little door, build a little deck, or a little bit of an awning, all out of the math and science that you learn, we build ourselves. These pieces of wood are 12 foot long, and we have all these different pieces of wood, shapes, and sizes, so we can build anything that we should need. So we can get to you safely. All different types of door openers, crowbars, open up a trunk, open up a hood, open up a door. Six different sizes. This happens to be one of the larger ones. Up top we carry backboards, and there's five different backboards. So if we have five different people, or multiple people that are hurt, we still have to take care of them. So as we're removing them from the woods, from the car, or even off of the water, we can now transport them on our backboards without hurting them anymore. Some of the things that we have to do is when we go to that car that we talked about and have to cut that car, there's a lot of safety concerns. We have to make sure that as we remove pieces of metal and we remove glass, we don't get hurt and we don't hurt the person that's inside. We use these special suction cups to remove glass from the windows. We have a special saw that we use called the window cut, specific just for glass. That will poke a little hole in the glass windshield and these sharp blades will cut our glass so we can cut that glass. After we cut the glass, we then hook up our suction cups, and now we can carry that glass wherever we have to go without worrying about cutting our hand. Or if we have a sharp piece of metal so we don't cut ourselves, we use our suction cups, not the burners. Sometimes cars are in accidents, and sometimes they're in funny positions. We need to make sure that those cars don't move, they don't slide. We have different what's called cribbing. Cribbing do exactly that. They come up underneath the car so the car doesn't move. And it doesn't slide. The car gets caught here, so when we're inside that car, the car is not going to rock on us, or it's not going to move, so we don't get hurt as well. So we have special cribbings that we use for that. In our small little toolbox, different axes, different saws, different hammers. All depending on where we go and what we need, we bring it with us. Here's all of our different wood that we use. Different wood, different lengths, different sizes. All holds different weight. I can put these underneath the cars, or I can build my bridge that we talked about, or I can build a little doorway if I should have to. Step to the other side of the truck, real quick.